Hey everybody, what's up? It is Scytherian, and today we are doing a review of the Destiny Beta brought to you by Bungie. Now, we've got a lot of bases to cover, so we'll jump straight into it. There is a lot of customization in this game, but we're going to focus just on how characters play in the beginning. So, starting off with the Titan. In the beginning, for the beta, he definitely played a lot, or very well, as an area DPS tank-like character. He can take more of a beating than all the other guys. His melee has that electrified cooldown that you see there. Now, when other characters use their supers, they drop these orbs of light. You can pick those up to charge up your super, and when he gets his super, he does the Hulk Smash! It's called the Havoc Smash, but honestly, it, it's a Hulk Smash. It's a Lightning Hulk Smash. A Thor Hulk Smash. Now, like I said, customization is rampant in the game, so you can customize your Hulk Smash to do... Uh, sorry, Havoc Smash. Did it again. Customize that Havoc Smash to work the way you want. You've got a variety of grenades you'll be able to pick from. So you can see here I can drop my Pulsating Grenade to the left, Havoc Smash to the right, Lightning Punch anyone still standing and get out of there and not die. So he's a pretty beefy character. Now when you move on to the Hunter, my favorite character class, this character can't take anywhere near as much of a beating and certainly doesn't have a lot of group abilities or group damage that you can do with the Gunslinger talent tree. However, it does have my favorite melee in the game. All of the melee seem to have similar range. The Warlock seems to be the farthest. I love the Hunter melee the most. I don't know that it's the most lethal. It just seems to be because of that knife. All of the characters have a grenade, a melee ability, and a super that run on independent cooldowns. His principal grenade is the incendiary, which isn't bad. And of course, his melee ability is the thrown dagger. Now, I love his melee because of its range. You can use it as long as you plan for the arc at any distance. It is great, but ultimately, most of his abilities seem to focus around making him a high single target damage DPS. His Golden Gun Super pretty much will annihilate any low level character and do massive damage to bosses and higher level characters. His Incendiary Grenade can do a little bit of damage to groups, but again, he's mostly single target high damage. You can equip any weapon with him and he plays pretty much anyway and the same is true for the warlock however in the beginning especially with the void walker build the warlock is the squishiest of the three characters and that's probably why i didn't like it out of the three now it has a variety of abilities most of them are aoe so it seems like he would be a good character for groups but he cannot take much of a damage he has good recharge so you want to get out of the way after you take damage. His melee right there that you saw him do will actually recharge your grenade somewhat. So he really has some interesting ways that he can work with his abilities playing off of each other. But ultimately, he is a nuker. As you see there, the Nova Bomb will really take out anything that it hits. And it is a nice piece of AoE damage. He's a little squishy, but he does nice burst AoE damage. So for people that like a character that is nimble... And Deadly, this is probably up your alley. Not really for me, but there's nothing wrong with him. And again, all of these character classes can use pretty much any weapon. So, have fun. Do what you want to do. The only problem I've really had when it comes to this game, honestly, is the menus. Now, you sit here, these are beautiful, the maps are great, but the ship's floating in the distance. You select a, a destination like you see here, and you fly off in it. You don't get to fly the ship. And for someone who loves to fly the ship, this just feels like Bungie just just teasing me and relentlessly taunting me like, look, it's so pretty, and you don't get to fly it. It's so pretty, but no. So this whole like ship window dressing thing, I really don't know how much I'm going to be impressed or upset with it and the game comes out, but ultimately it's just kind of a tease at this point. However, the game itself is brilliant. It's a very open world styled game. You can explore all of the areas that you can play the game in. So you can go at any point to an area that you've played and just run around, see other players, participate in group events. And you can also do these while you're running the missions because believe it or not, when you run a mission, you're actually moving through parts of the open world area. So this kind of interaction really comes off nicely. And ultimately, I feel like the game itself is very very engrossing and there's a lot more to even the area that we've had access to that we can't use because of our level but ultimately these public events are varied as is the game so there's always a chance to do something with players even if you're not grouped up and i'm really excited to see where this game goes in the future until next time i am cytherian saying good game